Hi, I'm Karen Pickering, Human Race Ambassador for the Open Water Swim Series, and these are my top 10 tips. Swimming outdoors is very different to swimming in a swimming pool because you don't have that black line to follow at the bottom of the pool. What you have to practice is getting used to navigating, and that's called sighting in open water swimming. You lift your head up, hopefully you can just lift it a tiny bit as you're, as you're turning to breathe, so it keeps your stroke still very efficient. You can get used to looking, looking for the buoy or looking for landmarks that will keep you going in a straight line, so you're not zigzagging or doing too many metres. The start of an open water race might be in deep water, so you might have to practice treading water and then getting into the swim. Practice in training, tread water for a little bit and then start doing front crawl. It's really important you practice swimming outdoors because the cold water can be a real shock. Start off by practicing in a lido like this. If you can go to a river or the sea that's great, but don't go swimming alone. Be safe, tell someone you, where you're going and try and swim in a group if possible. If it's your first open water swim, try to complete maybe a little bit further than the distance you're going to race in training beforehand. It will just give you that confidence going into the race knowing that you've gone a little bit further in the pool before. Make sure you have the right equipment for the race you're going to do. If it's very cold, you're going to need a wetsuit. Wearing two swimming hats can help and also earplugs. Be prepared for the race. Make sure you practice in the swimsuit or the wetsuit that you're going to race in. You wouldn't run a marathon for the first time in new trainers, so don't do the same in an open water swim. Get used to your goggles, get used to the equipment, and make sure you're comfortable in it. Practice breathing to both sides because it keeps your stroke balanced and you're more likely to be able to swim in a straight line if you've trained with a balanced stroke. Also, you might need to breathe to a side you're not as comfortable with if you're breathing away from the sun, away from people, or using the bank of a river to help with your sighting. Practice in training. It might be in a race you only breathe to one side, but at least you know that whichever side you have to breathe, you can. Make sure you're fully hydrated before you race. You don't realise how much fluid you can lose when you're swimming. So if, you're, if you need to, you can hydrate during the race. Maybe you can have some gel packets in your suit and your wetsuit as well. Make sure in the days leading up to the race, you eat well and you're hydrated to prepare as best as possible for the race you're going to do. Really try and vary your training. There's no reason why you have to do massive long distance in every single session you do. So keep it challenging, keep it interesting, and you're more likely to keep it going. Short sets of um, short repetitions can make a massive difference and really work on your technique. The more efficient you can be over a long distance, the easier it's going to be when you race. Try and keep your stroke efficient. The less arm pulls you can do in a, in a race, the better it's going to be. Practice in training trying to take less arm pulls than you would normally, but still keeping your stroke nice and smooth. I just want to wish you all good luck in your open water swim. Don't panic, enjoy it. The chances are you're not the only one who's doing their first swim, so just have a good time. <laughs>